So the objective or main objective of our study was to really examine whether probiotics and particularly a particular lactobacillus will change what happened during infantile colic, specifically whether it shorten it or decrease it much faster than used to be. And for that end, it was clear that we need to examine it in a methodologically appropriate manner that will answer that question. The only way to prove that probiotic works is to do a prospective, randomized trial, which means that half of the babies receive probiotic and half receive placebo, which looks similar, tastes similar, smells similar, and in a blinded manner. And that was the design because any other design cannot prove causation. And the main results were that probiotic really caused a clinically important decrease in crying time and in length an occurrence of colics among these children. Uh, compared to those who received placebo, that had the attacks similar to what the literature showed. Based on this study, and similar studies done in Poland, in Italy, we came to the conclusions that probiotics given to otherwise healthy children that have the typical three-month colic, as the public used to call it, the infantile colics, would benefit from giving them uh, the BioBaria lactobacillus, uh, and it will improve the severity and decrease the length of their uh, uh, colics, uh, which by the way, it was never achieved yet with any other medicinal product that was tried. Several gastrointestinal products were never shown to do that. The study was published several months ago. Since then, I had had the chance to talk to several medical groups. And I must say they were quite doubtful about probiotics, which is typical of physicians. Physicians are very suspicious of natural products, not because they may not work, but because many of them were never proven the way we prove it with medicinal drugs. So they were extremely enthusiastic with the results because we show them the evidence the way they used to see evidence through a randomized trial published in a major a pediatric journal, and uh, I, I must say that if I have to guess, based on such evidence, it's very likely that pediatricians and family physicians in Canada or in other countries where they see children will also respond positively to this development. These are not easy studies to do. Parents have many reasons they may not want to participate. For example, placebo. If they can go and pick BioGaia in the store, they will do it and they will not. So, so the study itself we decided to keep simple so we can do the placebo part, which was crucial. But I think the study bring biological plausibility to the fact that good bugs really change the flora of the intestine in a way that make the colics less painful and shorter. It also supports the analysis or the concept that at least in part, if not at large, the colics are the result of imbalance of bacteria. Otherwise, the probiotics would not have changed. So there's a lot more work that can be done. But I think now with enough studies showing the same type of results in different countries, we are quite sure that in North America, probiotics, and particular lactobacillus, and particular BioGaia product that we check, 
are working very well.